Are you looking to pick up Shakur after that last fight? I think, you know, as you've seen with the Devin stuff, obviously it has to suit you as well. I think Shakur is pound for pound one of the best fighters in the world. He may be unbeatable. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! I think he's been promoted terribly. And I think some of that is because Bob, when Bob knows a fighter's looking to leave, he just, he's out. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will stay on post. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG. Edgy Empress got to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. It's about to rain out here. So let's try to make this this, this, this video a little quick one. You know what I'm talking about? A little quickie. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Hey yo, but yeah, so uh, no ditty, but yeah, man. Um, so of course, Stevenson, you know, it's been the talk of the town lately, not only because he has a fight coming up this Saturday on uh, July 6th, right? I guess Artem Honey Union, uh, Harvard to Union, excuse me, um, but also because you know, this is the last uh fight on his contract with top rank and Bob Ram, you know, so he could get out and uh sign with whoever he wants, you know, he's, he's gonna be a free agent, you know, yeah, and he's gonna be uh. A very pursued free agent, you know, and um, to just even in that clip I just played with uh, Eddie Hearn, you know, a match room, they're pursuing him and, and, and as they rightfully should, you know, and uh, we, we dropped a video on this before, but you know, um, according to Michael Benson, where well, I don't know where he's getting this from, but you know, um, that he's saying that he will be a free agent, you know, he's going to be a free agent, he's not going to re sign with, with Bob Arum and Top Rank, and I think this is very good, you know, I think this is very good for him because at the end of the day, not, not necessarily that the that the grass is always greener on the other side, but when you know how that grass is on one side, you might as well take your chances on the other side. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it ain't gonna get no worse because wh whether you like it or not, whether you like him or not, you know, um, I think anybody with an honest, uh, with an ounce of honesty in their body or or the pulse or pay attention to the box that have been living under a rock or oblivious to uh, marketing stuff, you know, you, you, you could tell that Bob Arum has not done a good job of promoting uh, uh, Shakur. I say this all the time. In fact, he's done so poor of a job of promoting Shakur. You could say, oh, yeah, his um his fights have been uh, boring. Yeah, but when your real promoter has come out multiple times and said that, hey, man, you know, I want Shakur to engage more. Uh, he needs to be more entertaining. Whoa. A Tank Davis would ha has no problem fighting anybody yeah. because he he brings to the table uh, uh, thousands, hundreds of thousands of fans. Yeah. Now Shakur, because of his style, doesn't. He's a great fighter, but he doesn't have a tremendous following. Know your fucking place, trash. The person that's supposed to be promoting your career doesn't even like your fighting style. You know what I'm saying? The fighter, at the end of the day, the fighter's there to fight and the fighter's there to prioritize winning fights. Uh, Shakur Stevenson is a good fighter. We may talk about him as being boring. Of course, I do too because that last fight was boring. boring. But he has some good performances and, he, and, he, and, and his ability cannot be denied. You know what I'm saying? But the promoter is there to promote. And if the promoter isn't confident in your skills or doesn't appreciate your skills fully, then that automatically by default limits his ability to, to promote you and market you. You know, so as, as bad of a sale uh, Shakur Stevenson is or seems to be, Bob Arum has done worse as, as, as a promoter in, in regards to him, you know, and it, it's been that way for a long time, you know what I'm saying? So I think that Matchroom is interested in him. I think Golden Boy will be interested in him with Oscar. I think PBC with Al will be interested in him. You know, that'll bring him one step closer to the Javante Tank Davis fight. Of course, with him not signing with Bob Arum that in top rank, that'll pull him away from the Lomachenko fight, but he hasn't been getting the Lomachenko fight anyway. So like I said, I think it'll be best. It'll behoove him to go ahead at least and at least uh, uh, um, uh, uh, test the market, you know what I'm saying? And worse come to worse, then maybe you could go back to Bob Arum, you know what I'm talking about? Um, you know, but yeah, I think I think this is great for the young man. I think he should be a free agent now. Now, oh, my bad to check. You know, I got two dogs, I got a big yard out here, man. I thought I stepped to some boo-boo. So um, now, um, well, I was gonna say, I lost my, tr my track of mind. <sighs> Oh, yeah, yeah. So now now the onus is on Shakur TV. Well, it's, it's always on the fighter, right, to perform well and be intriguing. But he definitely has to entertain in this last fight, you know, because this is his last hurrah, his last attempt to to, 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 to put on a show and, and, and look attractive to to his suitors, to his potential suitors. Man. And I think he will do that against Artem. I think it's a good opponent for him to look impressive. I think it's a good opponent for him to shine. Um, but, hey, you know, we thought we thought Steve Claggett was a good opponent for Teofimo to shine. And we saw what happened with that. You know, we're talking about he, he struggled with Steve Claggett. So, uh, shout out to Steve Claggett. He's a good fighter. Is he, though? But 
people forget that the purpose of that fight was for Teofibo to showcase his skills and be like a rebound and bounce back fight, and that was not it. So same with Artem Honeyang, and he's supposed to say he's supposed to serve the same purpose for Shakur. So let's see if Shakur can uh can can can, can maximize this opportunity to look great. You know what I'm talking about. So I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think that Shakur should re up with uh, Bob Arum and, and and top rank? Do you think it's a mistake to uh to become a free agent and seek uh other promotional companies, or do you think he should go with Eddie Hearn? And me personally, I'm uh. At the end of the day, we know Eddie Hearn's going to get you fights. So I think that Eddie Hearn, even though his stable at 135 isn't the strongest, you know, um, Golden Boy has Williams Paid over there. He has Floyd Schofield, Kid Austin. You know, of course, PBC has uh, has Frank the Ghost Martin. And, of course, most notably Tank and some other guys. And then, you know, uh, Top Rank obviously has Lomachenko and some other guys, too, at 135. Matt Drew probably has the weakest 135 stable of the big promoters. But... We know Eddie Hearn gonna make it happen when it comes to getting them fights, man. And Boots and this is already there, so I, I think he should go with uh, uh, top rank. I mean, sorry, I think he should go with Matchroom. In my personal opinion, y'all, let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Y'all know what it is, man. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. Hey, the doctor's out. Peace. Hey, check out Kimba Bandit. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.